30 years ago, nobody had heard the word Islamophobia. And Islamophobia, the Muslim clergy and those who wanted to spread Islamism, which is the use of Islam in politics, developed this word simply to ward off any criticism or any discussion about Islam or its application in our society. We can talk about Christianity, we can criticize it, we can talk about Hinduism, criticize it, we can even have uh, discussions about Jews and within Jews, Hasidic Jews having great opposition, Orthodox Jews uh, versus uh, secular Jews. Uh, we have a tradition that comes out of Europe during the uh, wars of the uh, ref falling Reformation and Renaissance. All that is there and it is sacrosanct that a freedom of speech and thought should not be off not be constrained but then that freedom of thought does not go unchecked when we use it to hate others when that speech causes harm to someone so those are the constraints within which we as a western democracy in canada uh, as uh, inheritors of both the french and the uh, British traditions for revolution, for democracy, for respect of a constitutional monarchy, everything is blended up and crystallized. The best of uh, the United States, the best of England, the best of France, and the best of the immigrants that come here. However, Islamophobia is something that needs to be addressed. Because anyone fighting Islamophobia is not fighting racism. Because um, if we apply that to Islamophobia as an attitude towards Muslims, how does one know what a Muslim looks like? A Muslim can be in a, a Uyghur, a Muslim can be from Latin America, a Muslim could be from Ghana, a Muslim could be from Norway, a Muslim could be from Egypt, and a Muslim could be from Indonesia. It is ridiculous to say that some people are against other people simply because they are Muslims. Because Muslims can't even talk to each other. We don't have a common language. We're not a common people. We're not a common race. But to emphasize that Islamophobia is something that has to be derided and that the person who critiques Islam is somehow a demonic racist, a fascist or a, a Nazi type person allows the hate mongers within Islam, with the supremacists within Islam to get protection. So those who believe that the only form of governance in the world should be under a caliphate and under the Muslim Brotherhood, they are protected. You can't criticize them because the moment you criticize them, there will be a guilt-ridden white left-wing intellectual and say, oh, but that's Islamophobia. I, I said 30 years ago it didn't exist. I am aware when this word came out because right when it was introduced in Canada by the Canadian Islamic Congress, it was a professor of mathematics who was pushing this um, and I said, it can't be. I used to host a, a program called the Muslim Chronicle and I said, it can't be Islamophobia. It could be Muslim phobia, but it can't be Islamophobia because nobody knows Islam. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of an ideology. They're not afraid of a person like me or Mazahir who is shooting this video or my wife or my daughters or my friends. They're countless Muslims integrated in all political parties some infiltrating it to manipulate it. There's no question about it. But we can't criticize them. Islamophobia, interesting definition. It was attributed to Christopher Hutchins, but it wasn't. He didn't say that. It was, I think, Andrew Pickens who did it. But these were the words. Islamophobia, a word created by fascists and used by cowards to manipulate morons.
these are pertinent words that come from Sam Harris. He wrote that apologists for Islam have even sought to defend their faith from criticism by inventing a psychological disorder known as Islamophobia. He continues, there is no such thing as Islamophobia. It is not a form of bigotry or racism to observe that specific tenets of the faith pose a special threat to civil society. Nor is it a sign of intolerance to notice when people are simply not being honest about what they and their co-religionists believe. That's brilliant. Sam Har are we suggesting Sam Harris is a racist? Because if you're not a racist and you distinguish people without their appearance or their skin color, then you have no element of Islamophobia in you because the word is redundant. The only place where Muslims fear persecution is where Islamic rule is applied. Why? Because Muslims rule these countries. It's not Islamophobia. It is truth that needs to be told. And Islamophobia is a name invented by Muslims to protect themselves from any criticism. I rest my case.